Thanksgiving is over, Hanukkah is in full swing, Christmas is less than a month away, and you can't forget about poinsettia day on December 12th. Gosh, so much to plan for. Hey y'all, Trace here with your weekly D News Space Update. As humans continue to travel off world and into deep space and to other planets, what happens to our holiday traditions? What holidays do they even celebrate in space now? The International Space Station is international by design, so they don't stick to American or European celebrations. So what do we do? Every single day is a holiday somewhere. So astronauts can't be celebrating all of them. Instead, they get eight designated holidays every year based on the mix of the crew on board. Currently, it's ISS Expedition 38. They have three Russian cosmonauts, two NASA astronauts, and one Japanese astronaut and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> For now, these men determine the mix of holidays up there. For example, June 12th, that was Russia Day. So three cosmonauts up there, they shared the day with their crew members and celebrated the Russian Federation. Astronauts pick the holidays they want to celebrate in advance of their trip. NASA astronauts do the same with their meals on a 10-day cycle, so holidays can provide a break from that meal over and over again. For Thanksgiving, astronauts might choose to dine on smoked turkey, dehydrated mashed potatoes, and thermostabilized cranberry sauce. All available from the Human Systems Engineering Development Division. Yum. For special treats, family members are allowed to send psychological support kits to the astronauts. Past boxes have contained candy canes, videos, games, books, chocolates, things that make them feel more at home when they're 240 miles up in space. This year, Thanksgiving was a work day, but they still had a big meal at the end of the day. More recently, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield would try to make holidays fun for his crew members because he's awesome. On St. Patrick's Day, he pulled out his guitar and sang Oh Danny Boy. On Easter, he hid chocolate eggs around the ISS for the crew to find. On official holidays, the astronauts get the day off. They still have to exercise and do routine tasks that keep the ISS running, but they'll have a meal, they'll take some photos, and each will get some time to Skype video chat with their family. Christmas celebrations vary across the world down here on Earth. The Russians, for example, put more emphasis on the New Year than they do Christmas. So up on the ISS, astronauts try and mix their celebrations, and the first Christmas in space was on Apollo 8. December 24, 1968, they became the first humans to orbit the moon. While gifts are too heavy to launch into space, the ISS does have a two-foot little Christmas tree, though not a lot under it. Skylab had a tree too. It was made of empty food cans. The thing about holiday celebrations is that they do vary from culture to culture, even from family to family. The thing is, we're humans. We're in space. We're taking that culture with us. Someday, maybe spacefaring humans will have their own holidays, commemorating their own events. Or maybe they'll split up hours or combine them together. If you could only pick eight holidays to celebrate and it was in space, what would they be? Tell us in the comments below and check out past episodes right over there. Thanks for watching the weekly D News Space Update, everybody. See you next Friday.